بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الدرس التاسع lesson number nine عند الطبيب رقم اثنين at the doctor's office part two الجزء الثاني so here first thing that we have is uh, you know a diagram teaching us different body parts so first we have الرأس and الرأس is the head you know the the entire head then we have العين اليسرى the left eye so eye is عين and here يسرى is left and one thing you'll see is that in general all parts of the body that come in two uh, in twos and pairs they are treated as feminine as مؤنث so here this word يسرى is the uh, feminine version of the word أيسر so uh, it meaning the left. So al al Ainu al Yusra the right eye. Al Udun al Yusra the right ear. Al Fem the mouth. Al Dira al Yusra the Dira is the arm. Al Batan the belly. Al Yad al Yusra the left hand. Right? So uh, Yad is a uh, hand. الفخذ اليسرى الفخذ is the uh, this part of the leg here the thigh الركبة اليسرى الركبة is the knee so there's a famous hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the Jibril came to him and sat ركبتيه إلى ركبتيه his two knees to the knees of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Asaq is the this part of the leg from the knee to the to the ankle the uh, shin. Asaq al yusra the left lower part of the leg and al qadam is the foot right so like al qurratu al qadam or qurratu al qadam is uh, football soccer. Al qadam al yusra uh, the left foot. And then here we just have those same things, but now for the right side. Al Qadam al Yumna, the right foot. Al Saq al Yumna, the right uh, lower part of the leg. Al Rukbat al Yumna, the right knee. Al Fakhid al Yumna, the right uh, thigh. Al Yad al Yumna, the right hand. Al Dira al Yumna, the right arm. Here, Al Sadr is the chest, right? We already learned that in the previous lesson. Al Raqaba is the neck. Right, and be sure that we don't confuse a raqaba with a qaf and a fatha on the qaf and a rukba with a calf and a sakun on the calf. Right? A rukba is the knee, a raqaba is the neck. Al anf is the nose, and then once again al udun the ear, but this is al udun al yumna the right ear and al ain al yumna the right eye. عند الطبيب الجزء الثاني the second part of at the doctor's office رجع يوسف بعد أسبوع يوسف returned رجع بعد after أسبوع after one week ودخل and he entered عند الطبيب at the doctor وقال له and he said to him أنا الآن أحسن والحمد لله I am better now. Uh, praise Allah. So, ana al an means right now, and then ahsanu is what's called the ism tafdil, which means like more than, right? Anything on this pattern of f alu is better than, like akbaru, more from the word kabir, akbaru, bigger than, more than. So, here. When we have uh, ahsanu means better than. Ana ahsan. Now I'm better. Fahasat tabibu ra'sa yusufa wa raqabatahu. The tabib fahasa, he inspected the head of Yusuf wa raqabatahu and his neck wa aynahu al yumna and his right eye wa aynahu al yusra and his left eye. وَأَنْفَهُ and his nose وَأُذُنَهُ الْيُمْنَ and his right ear وَأُذُنَهُ الْيُسْرَ 
and his left ear وَيَدَهُ and his hand وَقَالْ and he said إِفْتَحْ فَمَكْ open your mouth right إِفْتَحْ here is that أَمْر that command form from فَتَحَ فَتَحَ يَفْتَحُ إِفْتَحْ فَحَصَ الطَّبِيبُ فَمَا يُوسُفَ وَأَسْنَانَهُ وَحَلْقَهُ the doctor Fahasa he inspected Fama Yusuf, the mouth of Yusuf, wa asnanahu and his teeth, wa halqahu and his throat. Al halq is the throat. Wa kala lahu ikhla mala bisaka. He tells him to remove his clothes. So ikhla here is the command form from khala'a. And then the present tense form, يَخْلَعُ Then the command form, إِخْلَعْ And malabis is clothing. So he says, إِخْلَعْ مَلَابِسَكَ Remove your clothing. يُوسُفُ يَخْلَعُ مَلَابِسَهُ Yusuf takes off his clothing. فَحَصَ الطَّبِيبُ صَدْرَ يُوسُفَ وَظَهْرَهُ وَبَطْنَهُ وَرُكْبَتَهُ So he says, the doctor inspects the sadr, the chest of Yusuf, and wadhahrahu, and his back, wabatunahu, and his belly, warukbatahu, and his knee, warukbatuhu, uh, warukbatahu al yumna, and his right knee, warukbatahu al yusra, and his left knee, waqadamahu al yumna, and his right foot, waqadamahu al yusra, and his left foot. وَقَالَ لَهُ And he said to him, إِرْفَعْ ذِرَاعَكَ Raise your arm. So, إِرْفَعْ, another أَمَر, command from the verb رَفَعَ He raised, يَرْفَعُ He is raising, إِرْفَعْ, raise. يُوسُفُ يَرْفَعُ ذِرَاعَهُ Yusuf raises his arm. قَاسَ الطَّبِيبُ دَغْدَ الدَّمِ So, دَغْد means pressure. Dem means blood, and qasa is to measure. Past tense verb here, a fi'ad madi. Qasa tabibu daghta demi. The doctor measured the blood pressure. Wa qal albas malabisaka. Wear your clothes. Put your clothes back on, right? So albas is from labisa yalbasu. So labisa means he wore yalbasu means is the present tense he is wearing and then ilbas is the command form from that and this word it's important not to get it mixed up with another word from the same root but from a different bab with different harakat and that is uh, labasa yalbisu which means to mix things together and to be confused. Like it says in Quran, لِمَا تَلْبِسُونَ الْحَقَّ بِالْبَاطِلِ Why do you uh, confuse or why do you mix together uh, truth and falsehood? So we have to know the difference between لَبَسَ يَلْبِسُ to mix things together and لَبِسَ in the past tense then يَلْبَسُ in the present tense which is to wear clothing. Okay, now let's read the dialogue and try to see if we can understand it. In the Tabib, al Juz al Thani, Raja a Yusuf bada usbu'an wa dakhala and the Tabibi wa kala lahu. An al Anu ahsanu an al Anna ahsanu alhamdulillah. Fahasat Tabibu Raksa Yusufa wa raka betahu wa aina hul yumna wa aina hul yusra. وأنفه وأذنه اليمنى وأذنه اليسرى ويده وقال افتح فمك يوسف يفتح فمه فحص الطبيب فم يوسف وأسنانه وحلقه وقال له اخلع ملابسك يوسف يخلع ملابسه فحص الطبيب صدر يوسف وظهره وبطنه ورك وركبته وركبته اليمنى وركبته اليسرى وقدمه اليمنى وقدمه اليسرى وقال له ارفع ذراعك يوسف يرفع ذراعه 
قاس الطبيب ضغط الدم وقال ألبس ملابسك الآن أنت بخير والحمد لله يوسف شكرا الكلمات الجديدة The new words from this lesson So we have رجع We already know that word to return This is past tense فعل ماضي Conjugated for هو He رجع He returned الآن means right now أحسن means better فحصة to inspect يمنى uh, means uh, right the right uh, but for uh, feminine right amen is for masculine يمنى for feminine يسرى is the left uh, حلق is the throat اخلع is the command the أمر from the verb خلع يخلع to take something off ملابس is clothing يخلع as we said is the مضارع the present tense form form of the same verb اخلع ارفع is the command form of the verb رفع to raise something so رفع in ماضي in past tense in مضارع يرفع and in the command ارفع right here here's that مضارع from that same form from that same verb يرفع قاسة is a fi'al ma'd, a past tense verb meaning to measure. Dagd is pressure, and adam is blood. Albas is that fi'al amr, that command verb from labisa, uh, yalbasu, to wear clothing. Ayyam is the plural of yawm, so days. Khala'a, that's that uh, ma'di, past tense form of yakhla'u, to take something off. Iltihab is uh, like burning or inflammation. Yantadiru is a fa'al mudari, a present tense verb meaning to wait. Ra'a, past tense verb, fa'al mad meaning to see. Ra'a, he saw. Suratun is a picture. Raqabatuhu, his neck. Istaqbala is to face or to greet. عالجة is to treat something. This is a past tense verb as well. عالجة he treated. ارتفاع is uh, raising. The, so we could say ارتفاع uh, الحرارة is like the raising of temperature. درجة uh, is the uh, level of something. درجة is a level. Ni'adatun is the same as batnun, the belly. Maridat is a plural, uh, a feminine plural from marid. So, sick women, maridat. Uh, labisa is the past tense of yalbasu, to wear something, right? Uh, qabila uh, means to accept. Qabala means to meet. Anf is the nose. Udhan is the ear. Batan, uh, belly. Yad, hand. Khala'a, we, are, we already talked about the past tense from yakhla'u, to take something off. Rukbatahu, his knee. Afhasu, this is the, from the verb fahasa, he inspected. Uh, Yafhasu. He is inspecting, and then if I want to say I am expect inspecting or examining, f hasul, f alu. Rafaa, he raised. Right, we learned that asnan means teeth, the plural of sin, asnan teeth. Akulu, I say. So this is qala in the past tense. Uh, he said yakulu, present tense. He is saying, and if I want to say, I say, أقولو, on the pattern, أفعلو. أقيسو, this is from uh, that verb, قاسة. So, قاسة is a fa'al ma'di, past tense, meaning he measured, right? We have that up here, قاسة. He measured, if we wanted to say, uh, he is measuring in the present tense, يقيسو. And then when I want to say I'm the one doing the measuring, we change that harf mudari, that ya, to a hamza and say aqisu, aqisu, I am measuring. Ashkur, I thank. Dira is the arm. 
al yusra right the left al yumna the right ain means eye al saq is that uh, lower part of the leg the shin and al qadam is the foot tadrib rakam 2 qawwan jumlan tamatan bi istikhdam majmu'at al kalimat al atiya so they want us to make complete sentences from these groups of words. So number one, we have Tabib, Yashkur, Yusuf, Wa, Shukran, Yakul. So we want to put this in an order that makes sense, and probably we'll say Yusufu, Yashkuru, Tabiba, Wa, Yakulu, Shukran. Yusuf thanks the doctor and says Shukran. Here we have Adam, blood, Qas, uh, he measured, Dagd. Pressure and al tabib. So we can say, Qas al tabibu, the doctor measured, dagt al dam, the blood pressure. Al tabib, the doctor, Yusuf, sadr, chest, fahasa, uh, inspected, al yumna, the right, rukbatahu, his knee, and then wa. So we can say, al tabibu, uh, fahasa, the doctor inspected Sadara Yusufa, the chest of Yusuf, wa rukbatahul yumna, and his right knee. Yusuf, Ainuhu, Yiftahu, opens al yumna, the right, wa, and Yusra, so we can say uh, Yusufu, Yiftahu. Ainahu al yumna wa ainahu al yusra. Yusuf opens his right eye and his left eye. So again, Yusuf, we have ala on top of yamshi, walks, al yumna, the right, wa qadamuhu, his foot, al yusra qadamahu. So let's say Yusufu Yamshi Ala Yusuf walks upon Qadamihi Qadamihi Al Yumna Wa Qadamihi Al Yusra Yusuf Yusufu Yamshi Ala Qadamihi Al Yusra Wa Qadamihi Al Yumna Yusuf walks upon his right foot and his left foot. Raja'a He returned. Hal, this is for a harf of istifham for asking questions. Yusuf, usbu'an ba'd. So we can say, Hal raja'a Yusufu ba'da usbu'an. Did Yusuf return after a week? Al-an, right now. Ahsan, better. Anta, you. And then we have, walhamdulillah. أنت الآن أحسن والحمد لله. You are better now. All praise is for Allah. يوسف ذراعه يرفع اليمنى اليسرى وذراعه. So let's make a good sentence. Let's say يرفع يوسف ذراعه اليمنى وذراعه اليسرى. Yusuf raises his right arm and his left arm. Rafa'a, he raised. Hal, question. Yusuf al yumna dira'ahu. Hal, Rafa'a, Yusufu dira'ahu al yumna. Did Yusuf raise his right arm? Here we have Qala, he said. Limada, why? Li Yusuf, to Yusuf al Tabib, the doctor al An. And then right now, be khair, are good, enter. So we can say, Li mada, why? Qalat tabib, did the doctor say, Li Yusuf, to Yusuf, al ana, anta bi khair, now you are good. Li mada, qalat tabibu, li Yusuf, al ana, anta bi khair. Why did the doctor say to Yusuf, now you are good? تدريب رقم ثلاثة أكمل كما في النموذج. So let's complete these examples. Here the example: أنا أرفع ذراعي. I raise my arm, and then they change that to the plural form. So we say نحن 
نرفعو ذراعنا We raise our arms So one thing you'll notice here is they keep dira in the uh, singular form even though they're saying ours because that's allowed in Arabic if you want to say our arms you can say dira'ana with the singular or you can make it plural as well either way works so here ana akhla'u I take off we can say malabisi my clothing and then if we want to make that in the plural we can say nahnu nakhla'u malabisana we take off our clothes ana albasu malabisi malabisi i wear my clothes nahnu nalbasu malabisana we wear our clothes ana ashkuru tabiba i thank the doctor نحن نشكر الطبيب. We thank the doctor. أنا أقيس ضغط الدم. I check the blood pressure. To make it us. نحن نقيس ضغط الدم. We check the blood pressure. أنا أفحص. I inspect. We can say أنا أفحص. أنا أفحص صدر أنا أفحص صدر المريض. I check the chest of the sick person. Then for us, نحن نفحص نحن نفحص صدر المريض. أنا أرجع. I return. أنا أرجع بعد أسبوع. I return after a week. To make it us, نحن نرجع بعد أسبوع. أنا أدخل أنا أدخل حجرة الفحص. I enter the examination room. نحن ندخل حجرة الفحص. We enter the examination room. أنا أقول I say. نحن نقول we say. أنا أفتح I open. نحن نفتح. أنا أدخل I enter, nahnu nadkhulu. So all we're doing here is learning how to conjugate present tense verbs for the plural first person. And it's by putting that noon at the beginning instead of the ya. More similar practice for verb conjugation, but here we are doing, going from the masculine third person, huwa, to the feminine third person singular he, she. So, huwa, he, he, she. Huwa yarfa'u dhira'ahu. He raises his arm. He yatarfa'u dhira'aha. She raises her arm. Right? So, we have to change huwa to he. We have to change the ya in the fi'al mudari in the present tense verb to a ta. And then we have to change this ha, this ha that is masculine at the end to this ha that is feminine that has the alif after it. So we can say, huwa yajlisu, hiya tajlisu. Right? He sits, she sits. Huwa yadhaku, he laughs, hiya tadhaku, she laughs. Right? We're just changing huwa to hiya and yadhaku, changing that ya to a ta. Tadhaku. هو يدخل he enters هي تدخل she enters هو يركب he rides هي تركب she rides هو يشرب he drinks هي تشرب she drinks هو يجري he runs هي تجري she runs هو يمشي he walks هي تجري she walks هو يأكل he eats هي تأكل she eats هو يشم he smells هي تشم she smells هو يفتح he opens هي تفتح she opens okay now تدريب رقم خمسة practicing more conjugations this time we're doing أنتما right Entuma is um, you too, and 
antuma is them two, right? So antuma is in the dual case, al muthanna, for the second person, the one you're speaking to directly. And then huma is also in the dual case. So both of these are dual, right? Muthanna, but antuma is second person, the one you're speaking to directly, and huma is third person, those two people, someone that's not present that you're speaking about. And um, here we're doing al mudar the present tense, right? So the patterns for these are for antuma is on the pattern tef'alani, right? Tef'alani. And for third person, huma, similar pattern, but the ta is changed to a ya. Yef'alani. So tef'alani, you two people are doing. Yef'alani, those two people are doing in the third person. So yadkhulu, he enters, becomes antuma tadkhulani. You two people are entering. And then for huma, huma yadkhulani. The two of them are entering. Yaqra'u becomes uh, antuma taqra'ani huma yaqra'ani. You two are reading, they two are reading. Yajlisu, right? For Yajlisu, he is. So, if we want it for Huma, two people in the Ghaib, the third person, then we take Yajlisu and change it to Yajlisani. Yajlisani, right? We're just adding that Alif and Noon at the end. And then when we said to say antuma to the speak people we're speaking to directly, same thing, but this ya yeah, instead is a ta, right? Always a ta when you're speaking directly to somebody. Tajlisani. Yarfa'u, he raises. Antuma, tarfa'ani. Huma, yarfa'ani. Yelbasu, he uh, puts on clothes, he wears something. So, for antuma, you two, antuma telbasani. You two uh, wear something. Huma, they two, yelbasani. Yakulu, he says, antuma, you two, takulani. Huma, those two, yakulani. The two of them say. Yafhasu, he inspects. Antuma, tafhasani. Huma, yafhasani. Uh, Yakhla'u, he takes off. Antuma, you two, takhla'ani, are taking off. Huma, they two, yakhla'ani, they two are taking off. Yaftahu, he opens. Antuma, taftahani, the two of you open. Huma, the two of them. Yaftahani, the two of them open. Here in exercise number six, doing the same thing, but now we're dealing with plural. And we have, so we have antum, the plural that is a uh, second person speaking directly to someone, right? Let's move this over here so I have room to write. Uh, so we have antum, right? Meaning you all. Um, this is second person. Plural. And then here we have whom, which is them. Third person plural. Right? So the pattern for antum is tef aluna. Right? Tef aluna. And third person plural, exactly the same, right? But the ta is a ya. It's always for third person, masculine at least, it's going to be a ya. Yef. This is a fatah here. 
yaf'aluna. So all we're doing is taking these words and putting them on those patterns. Yashkuru, he thanks. So antum tashkuruna and hum yashkuruna. Yadkhulu, he enters. So antum tadkhuluna, hum yadkhuluna. Yakhruju, he exits. Antum takhrujuna, hum yakhrujuna. Yadhaku, he laughs. Antum tadhakuna, you all laugh. Hum yadhakuna, they laugh. Yajlisu, he sits. Antum tajlisuna, you all sit. Hum yajlisuna, they sit. Yaf'alu, he does. Antum taf'aluna, you all do. Hum yaf'aluna, they all do. Yashummu, he smells. Antum tashummuna, you all smell. Hum yashummuna, they smell. Huwa yakhla'u, he takes off. Antum takhla'una, you all take off. Hum yakhla'una, they all take off. Yarji'u, he returns. Antum tarji'una, hum yarji'una. Yadfa'u, he pays. Antum tadfa'una, you all pay. Hum yadfa'una, they pay. Now, more conjugations. Here we're doing for Antunna. Right? Antunna, which is a second person. Right, speaking directly to someone, plural. It's you know more than three, and it's feminine. Antunna, you all women, and then we have here, hunna, which is also plural, feminine, but it's third person. Those women. Third person, plural, feminine. Right? So, antunna, the pattern for the mudar, for the present tense verb form, for antunna is going to be uh, taf'alna. And for hunna, they all women is going to be the same, but this time the ya instead of the ta because of the third person, right? Yaf'alna. Taf'alna, yaf'alna. So here we have yadkhulu, he enters. We want to change that so that we're using the same verb, the same fa'al, mudari, present tense, but speaking to a group of women. So we can say Antunna Tedhulna. Antunna Tedhulna. Antunna Tedhulna. You all group of women enter. And then for Hunna, third person, feminine, feminine plural, same exact thing except it's a ya at the beginning. And hunna yadkhulna, right? Hunna yadkhulna. Yadhaku, he laughs. So speaking to a group of women, and tunna fadhakna, and tunna fadhakna on that pattern tafalna. Then hunna. For though them women just change that ta to a ya, hunna yabhakna, hunna yabhakna. And like that, we just keep going with all of these words. Yajlisu, he sits, right? And tunna tajlisna, you women sit, hunna yajlisna. Yafalu, he does, and tunna tafalna, hunna yafalna. The next word, yashummu, 
uh, needs a little bit of explanation, right? Because it's a little bit more difficult because it has this, uh, it's mudaaf, it has these two letters next to each other that are same letter, right? The root is sheen, meme, and meme. And the way when we put it in this form, we say yashummu, we just put the two memes together. But if we try to, you know, we have here yashummu. And when we add that noon at the end to make it feminine, right? We need the word, the letter before that noon to have a sukun. So what do we do? We split the idgham, right? This is called idgham when we took those two memes and we put them together. So we bring those two memes apart and we get hunna. Yesh memna or yeshmumna actually. Yeah, yeshmumna. So, hunna, yeshmumna, they group of women smell, and tunna, teshmumna, you group of women smell. That, inshallah, is a little more difficult. We'll learn it in detail at a higher level when we study in detail in masarf, the how we make uh, words in different forms yadfa'u uh, he pays so antunna tadfa'na and hunna yadfa'na yarfa'u he raises so you group of women raise antunna tarfa'na and that they group of women raise hunna yarfa'na yakhla'u he uh, takes off so a group of women and tunna takhla'na and a group of women in third person hunna yakhla'na yaktubu he writes and tunna taktubna hunna yaktubna okay so here to make some complete sentences from these pictures we can say yarfa'u uh, yusufu uh, Dira'ahu al-yumna Yusuf is raising his right hand Yusufu yarfa'u dira'ahu al-yusra Yusuf is raising his left hand Here we can say Hadihi fakhdihi al-yumna Or more here it looks like he's pointing to his knee So we could say Hadihi rukbatuhu al-yumna this is his right knee, right? Instead of hada, we'll say hadihi because rukba is feminine, it's mu'annath because it's one of those body parts that comes in two. So hadihi rukbatuhu al yumna. His right knee. هذه ركبته اليسرى. This is his left knee. هذه أذنه اليمنى. This is his right ear. هذه أذنه اليسرى. This is his left ear. هذه عينه اليمنى. This is his right eye. هذه عينه اليسرى. This is his left eye. هذا أنفه. This is his nose. And here we're using Hada, right? Instead of hadihi, because the anf is masculine, because it's one of those body parts that doesn't come in twos. Hada anfuhu. This is his nose. Hada thamu Yusuf. This is the mouth of Yusuf. Or even we could say something like uh, Yusuf yushiru ila famihi. Yusuf points to his mouth, right? Uh, we have a verb here. Ashara in the past tense means he pointed. And then it's one of those verbs on that pattern, af'ala. And then here we can say, for present tense, yushiru. Ashara, he pointed. Yushiru, he points. So we can say, yusufu yushiru ila tu famihi, his mouth. Yusuf points to his mouth. And here we can make a similar sentence, but now 
we can say Yusuf yaftahu famahu wa yushiru ila asnanihi Yusuf opens his mouth yaftahu famahu wa yushiru and points ila tu asnanihi his teeth and here lastly we have him at the doctor and he's raising his he's standing in front of the doctor and he's raising his right arm so we can say Yusufu yarfa'u dhira'ahu al-yumna amam at-tabibi amam at-tabibi Yusuf yarfa'u is raising dhira'ahu al-yumna his right arm amam in front of at-tabib the doctor and then here once again just to review body parts right here we have ar-ra's the head uh, al-ayn Al Yusra, the left eye. Here we have Al Udun, Al Yusra, the left ear. Here we have Al Anf, the nose. Here we have Al Fem, the mouth. Here we have Dira, Al Dira Al Yusra, the right arm. Um, then on the other side we have Al Ain Al Yumna, the right eye. Al Udun Al Yumna, the left uh, or the right ear. Sorry, Al uh, Raqaba is the neck, right? Raqaba or we say al raqaba with uh with the fatha on all those letters. Don't get it confused with Arukba, which is the knee. Here we have a southern the chest here al button the belly uh here his right arm, the al yumna. Here yadu al yumna, his right hand. Here his left hand, al yad al yusra. Here al fakhf, the uh, thigh. So this, fahadhi al fakhf al yumna, the right thigh. Wahadhi al fakhf al yusra. And this is the left thigh. وَهَذِهِ رُكْبَتُهُ الْيُسْرَى And this is his left knee. وَهَذِهِ رُكْبَتُهُ الْيُمْنَى And this is his right knee. وَهَذِهِ السَّاقْ This is the uh, shin. فَنَقُولْ هَذِهِ سَاقُهُ الْيُسْرَى This is his uh, right or left. Sorry, this is his left Shin wa hadihi saquhu al yumna and this is his right uh, shin and here wa hadihi al qadam this is the foot so we can say al qadam the foot al yusra the right foot or we can say qadamuhu al yusra his left foot wa hadihi al qadam al yumna and this is the right foot aw yumkin an naqul or we can say هذه قدمه اليسرى قدمه اليمنى and this is his uh, right foot هذه قدمه اليمنى تدريب رقم عشرة some questions about the text أجب على الأسئلة التالية answer the following questions متى when we said متى is a حرف of استفهام for asking questions متى رجع يوسف when did Yusuf return? Raja'a Yusufu ba'da usbu. Yusuf returned after one week. Mada qala Yusufu lit tabibi. What did Yusuf say to the doctor? Qala Yusufu al ana ana ahsan. Or ana al ana ahsan. Now I am better. Mada fahasat tabibu min Yusuf. What from Yusuf did the doctor inspect? We can say. Uh, فحص الطبيب عينه اليمنى وعينه اليسرى وفمه وأذنه اليمنى وأذنه اليسرى وأنفه وأسنانه all these different body parts ماذا فحص الطبيب في فم يوسف what did the doctor inspect in the mouth of Yusuf فحص الطبيب أسنان يوسف the طبيب inspected the teeth of Yusuf 
لماذا خلع يوسف ملابسه why did yusuf uh, take off his clothes خلع يوسف ملابسه للفحص he took off his clothes for the examination هل فحص الطبيب ركبة يوسف اليسرى did the doctor inspect the left knee of Yusuf I don't remember in the story if he did or not but we can say نعم فحص الطبيب ركبته اليسرى yes he inspected his left knee أين الأسنان والحلق أين الأسنان والحلق الأسنان والحلق في الفم the teeth and the throat or in the mouth. هل عند يوسف مرض الآن هو بخير. Or we can say الآن هو سليم والحمد لله. Now he is healthy. There is no sickness in him. هل في يد يوسف اليمنى واليسرى ألم؟ Is there in the right hand and the left hand of Yusuf ألم a pain? لا. ليس في ليس في يده اليمنى واليسرى ألم. There is no pain in his left hand or his right hand in either hand. ماذا قال الطبيب ليوسف? What did the طبيب say to Yusuf? قال أنت الآن بخير والحمد لله. He said you now are good and the praise is for Allah. اقرأ الجمل الآتية جهرا واكتبها مرتين. Now, last exercise. Read the following sentences out loud and write them two times. يوسف يدخل عند الطبيب. So Yusuf enters at the doctor. Now here, have the same sentence, but this time, now for a woman. Write زينب is a feminine name. So we're going to say, زينب تدخل عند الطبيب. What we did was we changed يدخل to تدخل. Right? From هو to هي. يدخل for هو male. تدخل for هي female. زينب تدخل عند الطبيب. زينب enters at the doctor. يوسف وزينب يدخلان عند الطبيب. So now here this is for the dual case. هما. The two of them. يوسف وزينب يدخلان عند الطبيب. Then now, plural. الأولاد, the children, يدخلون. On that pattern, يفعلون. الأولاد يدخلون عند الطبيب. Right? Because أولاد is plural. So we have to have a plural فعل, verb to match that. الأولاد يدخلون عند الطبيب. Now, البنات. البنات. Again is plural, but this time it's a feminine plural. The girls. So, البناتو يدخلنا. يدخلنا. And that pattern يفعلنا. البناتو يدخلنا عند الطبيب. The girls enter at the doctor. Now, so all this was for third person, right? If we look through everything we went through so far, right? We did يدخلو. He enters تدخلو she enters يدخلاني the the two of them enter يدخلونا the group of them enter plural يدخلنا the feminine group of them enter right so all that was third person he she the two of them them the group of women right all that is second person now here in the second group reviewing those First person conjugations, right? All this is first person conjugations. Enter, you, anti, you, feminine, entuma, you too, entum, you all, entunna, you all, feminine, right? So, أنت تدخل عند الطبيب. You enter at the doctor's. أنت تدخلين عند الطبيب. You female enter at the doctor's. تفعلين تدخلين. أنتما تدخلان عند الطبيب. You too enter at the doctor's office. 
Antum, you group of men, tadkhuluna inda tabib. Antunna, you uh, group of women, tadkhulna inda tabib. And then lastly, all that we have, actually I made a mistake here, I said this was first person, that's second person, right? Uh, when you're speaking directly to someone else, that's second person, enta. And then lastly, here at the end, we have first person, when you're speaking about yourself. And we have ana for singular, nahnu for plural, right? Ana edkhulu in the tabib, I enter at the doctor's office. And nahnu nedkhulu in the tabib, we enter at the doctor's office.